Welcome back to Odoo Estic, guys. Today, we are diving into the world of social media, social email marketing, and how Odoo can elevate our strategy. Combining the reach of social media with the personalization of email marketing creates a powerful tool for engaging your audience. This synergy allows for targeted campa campaigns that resonate with your subscribers. Difference between a mailing and a campaign in Odoo email marketing. So first, I will talk about the single standalone email or mailing. A mailing is a one-time email sent to a specific group of recipients, and it focuses on delivering a single message without follow-ups. And you can say use case, sending a newsletter, product announcement, or promotional offer. In Odoo, we create a mailing, design the content, select the recipients, and send it without any automated sequence. A while a campaign is a structured email marketing effort that includes multiple emails sent over time. It aims to guide recipients through a journey from awareness to conversion. Campaigns often include conditions and automation, such as follow-up emails based on user interactions. For example, opening an email or clicking a link, and use case, you can say nurturing leads, onboarding new customers, or running seasonal promotions. So let's dive into it. So let's install first email marketing uh, module. As you can see, I have already installed, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uninstall it, and then I will show you the process how to install. And then we go. Hello, guys. So as you can see, I am using Odoo 18. If I go in settings, so you can see I'm using Odoo 18 Enterprise Edition at the moment. And first, for email marketing, we need to install email marketing module. How we can do that if we go in apps and here we need to search by email and then you can see email marketing this is the module mass mailing as well you can see in module info email marketing latest version and we can install it here by clicking activate So it will take some time and after that I will show you once it will be installed. Right. So guys, as you can see, email marketing has been installed. So when we click email marketing, here we can see a tree view uh, of the email marketing dashboard. And here, there are several other views as well. Um, the second one is Kanban view, then the calendar view. So these are three views there. If we go in list view, we can start with the date. So this is the date when this campaign has been launched. This is the subject and then responsible, um, whoever has launched this campaign, the arrest user then sent how many emails have been sent, then the delivered, the percentage of email delivered, the percentage of email opened, the percentage of, of the emails clicked, and then replied, and then the status. So this is the list view. So first of all, what we need to do, we just need to click on configuration and then settings. When we click on settings, so we can see this one setting under email marketing, which is called mailing campaigns, manage mass mailing campaigns. So we need to click this and click save. Right, so as you can see, I have activated mailing campaigns here. Um, so this enabling will allow us to manage mass mailing campaigns more effectively. Then 
you will also see the blacklist option when unsubscribing here. So this setting allows recipients to add themselves to a blacklist if they wish to stop receiving emails, helping us stay compliant with email marketing regulations. This is crucial for maintaining trust and adhering to privacy standards. Then there is another setting which if we activate, which is 24 hour stat mailing reports, um, enabling this will let us track how well our mailing is doing within the first 24 hours of being sent. And this can provide valuable insights into our email campaigns, Im Im immediate impact, helping us optimize future emails for better performance. Uh, then there is a split first and last name. Activating this feature separates mailing contact names into two fields, which can improve personalization in our emails. Personalization is key to engaging our audience effectively and can significantly boost our open rates. And then lastly, we have got dedicated server settings. This allows us to choose a dedicated on outgoing mail server for our mass mailings if we have one. Ensuring efficient and reliable email delivery using a dedicated server can enhance delivery performance, reduce the risk of being flagged as spam, and provide better tracking capabilities. So if we click, we can see uh, the default servers, but we don't have any um, extra outgoing mail server. We have, we have not set it up, so we will just use the Odoo main uh, server at the moment. So this is it. And now uh, we are just going to create a new email template and an email campaign. So if we go in, guys, now we have done all the email marketing configuration. And now we are going to create a new email campaign. So what we need to do, we can click email marketing and we can click new. So here, uh, first, we need to add the subject here. So in here, let's suppose we want to create a new offer. We are so happy now offering 50% Okay, so next here, we need to select from here recipients. So Odoo provides multiple options, mailing list, contacts, leads or opportunities, mailing contacts or general entries. So for example, we can filter general entries to type as customer invoice and status as posted. Once we select contacts, you can see the 42 records have been um, selected because if you go in contacts, if you go in contacts, so you can see there are 42 contacts. So each contact it has selected to send email to um, as a mailing list. Then we have got general entry, we have got mailing contacts, and here it has been seven records have been selected, which are here. Um, if we want to add into this, we can add or delete whatever we like. Um, then we have got sales order. So once we have done this, we have selected, or automatically 43 records have been selected. If we, but for this example, what we do, we just choose mailing list and select afterwards in mailing list for this example we will select newsletter uh, to reach subscribers who signed up for updates so at the moment eight uh, have been selected but if we want to add another contact we can add from here so Below the recipient selection, Odoo offers pre-built templates, as you can see in Mailbody. 
we can choose a template that suits our message and then we can customize it by adding or editing content. So because it's related to a new offer, 50% off, so maybe we can choose this one. So here, once we can get this, on the right hand side, when we click on each block, we can then customize it. We can we can do in blocks, we can add in other blocks, we can customize it, we can also design this. So let's suppose we don't want this, we don't want to add any code or if you want to add code, we can do this, but let's delete this. Um, then here we can just write anything all members only so here if you just double click here you can change this old um, you can change this logo or picture here if you want to change the text you can do that free shipping so this is just as a startup i'm just showing you but if you want to add any other thing according to your requirements or design you can do that it's 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 not rocket science if you want to add another block here like um, if you want to add a left logo here you can just do that and add that block wherever you want if i want to add it on the top i can do that so it's just lots of things you can do play around let's play around how you want to proceed let me just do this back okay okay once we have done the uh, design and finalize our customization then we can also click on next tab if you want you can also allow a or b testing so basically uh, this is this is in between two versions so one version we have created and again we can create a new version as well and then uh, we can select that how many percentage uh, will be sent and then here we can also choose winner selection as well and send final on this date after the uh, selection or choosing so this is good for uh, testing purposes in settings we can add uh, tracking as well at the moment in this field i have just choose medium we are not uh, changing that we can also attach files as well so once it's all complete what are what we are going to do either we can select schedule or we can just straight away send or we can also click test as well let's click on schedule and we can just choose a date today and we can say the time is maybe five and then apply so once we do that you can see that the status has been changed from draft to in queue and then as you can see all these smart buttons also has been created so what it means once this mailing will be sent then after that, once users will be opened or reply or click or quotation, if they create any quotation or if we will create an invoice, then uh, received percentage, bounced percentage. So everything will be tracked. This is so, so cool feature in Odoo. So it tells us, tells us how Odoo has made it easy for you it's really really good for your businesses for uh, for for your campaigns really really amazing features okay so guy like, creating and managing email campaigns in odoo is straightforward with the right tools and settings use these features to optimize your outreach and grow your business remember consistency and personalization are key to effective email marketing 
make sure to analyze your results, learn from your performance metrics, and continuously improve your campaigns for better engagement. Don't forget to explore the insights provided by Odoo's analytic tools as well. Track open rates, click-through rates, and recipient interactions to understand what resonates best with your audience. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more expert tips on optimizing your Odoo experience. See you next time. Ta-da!